In the heart of the scorching desert, where the sun's rays danced on the sand like flames, stood the Oasis Motel, a dilapidated structure that seemed to beckon travelers with promises of respite amidst the harsh terrain. Its once vibrant sign now weathered and faded, casting eerie shadows on the deserted parking lot. Inside, the air was heavy with the smell of dust and decay. Amidst the oppressive heat, a group of weary travelers found themselves stranded at the Oasis Motel. Among them was Maya, a young woman with an air of quiet resilience, and Jake, a rugged adventurer with a haunted look in his eyes. As they checked into their rooms, they couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about the place. The receptionist, a gaunt figure with sunken eyes, greeted them with a forced smile that sent shivers down their spines. Once settled in their room, Maya and Jake decided to explore the motel grounds, hoping to escape the suffocating atmosphere of their rooms. They wandered through the deserted corridors, the sound of footsteps echoing eerily against their walls. Suddenly, they heard a faint whisper coming from one of the rooms. Intrigued, they approached cautiously and pushed the door open. Inside, they found a group of people huddled together, their faces contorted in fear. We can't leave, one of them muttered, his voice trembling. He won't let us. Confused and alarmed, Maya and Jake tried to get answers from the group, but they only received cryptic warnings in return. He's always watching, another whispered, her eyes darting nervously around the room. Determined to uncover the truth, Maya and Jake pressed on, exploring every corner of the motel in search of clues. But the more they searched, the more they felt like they were being watched, like an unseen presence lurked in the shadows waiting to pounce. As the night fell, the temperature plummeted, sending chills down their spines. They retreated into their room, hoping to find solace in each other's company. But as they lay awake in the darkness, they couldn't shake the feeling of impeding doom that hung over them like a dark cloud. Suddenly, they heard a knock at the door, slow and deliberate, heart pounding. Jake approached cautiously and peered through the peephole, but there was no one there, only the empty hallway stretching out into the darkness. Fear gnawing at their insides, Maya and Jake barricaded the door and waited, listening to the sound of their own ragged breaths echoing in the silence. Hours passed, but the knock never came again. Exhausted and on edge, they drifted into an uneasy sleep plagued by twisted nightmares of shadowy figures lurking in the desert night. When they awoke the next morning, the sun was already high in the sky, casting a harsh light on the barren landscape outside. As they prepared to leave the motel behind, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were leaving something behind, something dark and sinister that lurked just beyond the edge of their vision. As they drove away from the Oasis Motel, the feeling of unease lingered, a shadowy presence that seemed to follow them wherever they went. And though they tried to convince themselves that it was just a trick of the mind, they couldn't shake the feeling that they had stumbled upon something truly malevolent. Something truly malevolent. Something that defied explanation and would haunt them for the rest of their days. Welcome to Zofirg Tales, where nightmares unfold. Are you ready to embark on a spine-chilling journey into the darkest recesses of your imagination? Join me, Zofirg, as I guide you through the realm of mystery, horror, and suspense with Zofirg Tales. Dive into the world where shadows dance with fear and every corner holds a secret waiting to be revealed. Whether you're a lover of bone-chilling thrills or a connoisseur of the macabre, Zofirg Tales promises to captivate your senses and leave you on the edge of your seat. Follow me on Rumble, Spotify. Come, brave souls, and dare to explore the unknown with Zofirg Tales. Your nightmares await if you dare to unfold them.